Greetings, I, the War Al greets you. Here's how it works. One player on each team plays as the heavy. On my team, that was me, of course. Who else would it be? On the other team, it was fellow Counter-Strike YouTuber, who I'm gonna call Jeff, because I don't know how to say all that. We each have four normies on our team who are just playing regular Counter-Strike. And to make it more fun, I put Jeff and I into a Discord chat together so I could taunt him mid-game. Each heavy gets a heavy armor suit, which has insane armor and two 200 health. It's <laughs> <laughs> like six headshots. Nine hits on you. Nine headshots. And we get the exo jump boots from Danger Zone, which allows us to pull off some sick movement skills like this. How would competitive Counter Strike work when one player on each team was incredibly overpowered and a horrible narcissist, like all good YouTubers are? I mean, who else is going to have a giant poster of themselves on the wall behind them? Markiplier's showing his winky. Listen, this is just how things are. What was I talking about again? Oh, yeah, here's what happened. <laughs> 107. Play bomb. Oh! I hit him 107, oh. bro. Yeah! Our match took place on DE Nuke, which was definitely the most fun map for jumping around with the Exo Jump boots. Right away on Pistol Round, we realized just how overpowered the heavy armor was. Let's yeah, go secret oh, downstairs, God. secret downstairs. Oh my God! Yes! Get wrecked. Let's go. I spammed like the full Tech 9 right into your face. And I bet it gave you like a uh, aim punch so you couldn't shoot. Uh, Kayla behind you as well, did the same. Yeah, so it's like buddy system, right? I gotta bring one squire with me to. I'm the tank, right? And then they're the DPS. The heavy armor did have some weaknesses. If you got hit in the head, you still got aim punched. And if you got hit anywhere, you'd still get tagged, meaning your movement speed would be reduced to nearly zero. If the enemy team spammed you, they could incapacitate you. But most importantly, big chungus means loud footsteps. And it was terrifying. You'd also make footsteps when holding shift to walk. There was no way to move silently across the map. We had a large presence. And if you've ever played Counter-Strike before at even an intermediate level, you know just how significant that is. It was still possible to take out the raid boss, but you needed to use teamwork and coordination. Oh, you, okay. you had me so low. My armor was 13. Man. For those of you who've never played CS Danger Zone, which is all of you, the Exo Jump Boots are the exoskeleton attachments that Chell wears in the Portal series. You get reduced fall damage, and you can long jump like Gordon Freeman in the original Half-Life. The Exo Jump Boots gave me just enough speed to get insane timings, as well as allow me to get into spots I really should not be able to get to. Once I ran out of heavy armor, I was essentially just another player. The meta quickly became staying together in one group, your heavy armor being your tank, and everyone else damaged damage dealers, but also listening to where the enemy heavy was and then rotating based on that. I'm out. I have, I have no armor left. They're going ramp. You want to go vents then? I'm gonna go vents, yeah. We stay, let's stay together. Oh shoot, I had like FPS glitch. Just big boy left. It's up to you. Yep. Not back, not. Oh, oh my gosh. Good luck. Oh shoot. Do you have time? Uh, I, I don't have kit. Oh! I can't believe you don't have a kit. If you could snipe the enemy heavy, you pretty much won the round. I'm flash. Oh, I hit the flash. Oh my gosh! My team left me, I was alone. Yeah, I know, everyone can hear you everywhere on the map. No! I know where Screen Stalker is. Where is he? I know where you are right now, your back hall's running toward the double- Oh no, you're in the site, what the hell? Oh, wow. You f- <laughs> <laughs> It sounded like you were back there. It's like terrifying yeah, right? when he's coming, and you hear that like yeah. boom, boom, yeah. boom, yes, boom, Yes, yes, and, and actually I am terrifying my own self, because I hear my own footsteps, so I'm, I'm thinking that you're close to me. <laughs> you're getting scared of your own footsteps? <laughs> Oh, ho, 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 ho. movement tech. Penicillin, plastic, your birth. 
Some of the greatest things in history were made by complete accident, which is how I discovered Mega Run Boosting. If I high jumped onto my teammate's head and then hit a long jump, I'd run boost like crazy, completely destroying the meeting point timings of the map. This was the solo queue mindset manifest. If I die, we lose the round. Except it was actually true, so I had to be very careful about staying with my team. I need help, I need help, three here. Where are you going, big guy? That sucked, I got stuck. Whee! This kind of feels like a default win now, I can run one, run around. He can hear exactly where you are, Jeff. Oh my god, it takes forever to pick. Oh. Oh, you didn't hear that, no, you didn't hear that. Oh, you jumped down the vents? Yes. Oh, you're going decon? Yes. Wait, is it actually A? Jeff, did you go to B? Wait, is it A? I told him it was A and he believed me. <laughs> <laughs> For real. It's not. I can't believe you believed me. I'd be like, yeah, of course I'm gonna tell you where the. No, but like, I, I, I actually was, you know, I was checking the ready. Got like an easy 1v1. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, nice I, job. You need to buy a kit, Jeff. Because the heavy could win every 1v1, the meta was to stay together in a group. And when that happens, the game becomes extremely T-sided because they can just group up and charge in like 2015 Cloud9. He went downstairs. All right, let's go back and go away. Let's go back and go away. My strat was to both fake out the opponent with loud ass footsteps, as well as listen and locate the enemy heavy. It was a search and destroy mission. I see, oh, I I'm so shoot, oh. I'm so sorry. We were playing chess, where the object of the game is to gank the enemy king. Oh, hello. I have two HP. Yeah, two HP. I have been lied to for probably the fifth time in a row. They said it was ramp, and then we did go ramp, and then we ran back. I did that to trick you, and it worked. Guys, let's take our time this time. Let's just walk around, and we'll see, and we'll see if we can hear where the big boy is. Ramp. He's coming, ramp. All right, group up, group up. That was bad. Here I come. Say hello to Papa Jeff. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. The gameplay was like Overwatch 2, where you had one overpowered tank and a bunch of squishy plebs existing in its orbit. I think Overwatch 2 is only that way now because the only game Blizzard knows how to make is World of Warcraft, and even then, eh. You gotta just like spam his head. Recoil control, you got this. <laughs> He's about 80 HP. Should I go lower? It's up to you, man. You're in control. You're in the driver's seat. This is your round. Dang. While there was a new layer of strategy to this idea, it devolved into Death Ball, which is just grouping everybody together and doing a team fight. Not great for a tactical shooter. Counter-Strike works so well because everyone is the same, and thus everyone has the same potential to pull off an amazing play. Other tactical shooters rely on class-specific abilities where it seems the character you're playing is more important than the person playing it. Blah blah blah, Counter-Strike good, everything else bad. Counter-Strike formula good game, mess with formula, make goofy, tee hee ha ha negev meta funny moment. I feel like I'm in a time loop making the same videos, the same points over and over again. I'm, it's making me go nuts. I started these Counter-Strike but it's blah 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 videos like three years ago. It changed the Counter-Strike YouTube meta. I have a list of like 20 ideas that would work really well, but I'm super burned out on these, man. I'm not excited with it anymore. Editing is like a massive chore now. So I'm gonna start making some new stuff. And that's the point of working a dream job if you're just miserable all the time. Well, the point is the creative freedom to work on stuff that I'm passionate about. And listen, I know you, you're no dummy. You can tell if I'm not into it. So I'm gonna make some new stuff. It'll probably suck at first. Bear with me, because making videos, telling stories, that's what I was born to do. Thank you both very much for watching. I am the War Owl, and thank you to Jeff for joining. And I still have no closer. Well, that video did not go how I thought it was going to go at the end there.